vote by lives. Um, but all I have to say is when men make like decisions over women's bodies, especially there was someone talking about on the news today saying like, you know, I'm looking out for the babies. Okay. How many babies do you have? How many babies have you fostered? No, you're a single white man who um, feels the need to police women's bodies. Because if men were the ones to get pregnant, you'd be able to get an abortion at every corner store, quite frankly. But instead of, you know, investing into the foster care system and education and um, sexual health, it's easier to police women's bodies because historically women's bodies were an object um, created from a system by men. But yeah, yeah, um, I, I used to live in Queensland. I don't um, anymore. Nice set bro, set of what, Reese? Recent chaos, set of political values and beliefs. Hello, Grimmels. Um, but no, Queensland is quite racist. Yeah, um, I grew up in an area that was very religious and very white. Now I'm mixed. I know I don't look it. I am incredibly white, ginger hair, all of that. But I was so like in such a white area that the people I grew up with knew I was mixed, like that I wasn't fully white. That's how backwards Queensland is. So not my place to be. Hello, Angela. Oh, no one's ch chatting in the chat. Ooh. I like Melbourne, but my only issue is it's a little bit, mm, it's not a little bit, it is pretentious. Um, it's, it's very performative here. So that's one thing I, I do miss about Queensland is, um, yeah, Queensland, you know, when you walk past someone on the street, you'd still acknowledge them and say, g'day, how you going? Um, it was a little bit more relaxed, but there's a lot more bigotry and all of that. Whereas Melbourne, people don't talk to each other here. Um, and it's all about individualism, in my opinion. Do Catholic priests visit, visit establishments? I wouldn't know if they're Catholic, um, but I dare say, um, I've, I've been with religious men um, who practice religion. A lot of um, Muslim men book me as well. So something to be said there. Um, it's just religion. It, people who are incredibly religious tend to book me. And I'm like, okay, I, I'm like the embodiment of sacrilege, but sure. <laughs> but yes, um, Melbourne's okay. Melbourne goes all right. Oh, here we go. What's your thoughts on it? Mm. Mm-hmm. Ask me some more controversial things. I like answering controversial things. Chat is quiet. Chat, come on. L in the chat. <laughs> L from the chat. See, this is, I've been watching, um, what's his name, Queso. Oh, he is so funny. Oh, Queso. My most controversial take, I don't think is appropriate for TikTok. Um, how can I say it? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Um, I don't think it's insensitive or anything like that, but it is a bit too 
woke. So I've got a bit of a background in psychology. Um, I, one of my interests is history and economic and social history and art history. So there's something to be said about the first and second world wars and their impact on, um, the biker queer community that started around about like in the thirties to fifties, I could go on, but I don't think it's appropriate for here. Yeah, you cannot say, I know. But no, ask me, ask me controversial. Well, I, I don't know. Is there something I can talk about? I am very queer positive. That's all I'm saying is I'm very queer positive, but there's a lot of, um, there's a lot to be said in terms of trauma within the Second World War and then this, the the beginning of the um, like queer community, gay community. Now, I got this book. I cannot show you what is in this book, but this is this is some artwork by <laughs> um, Tom of Finland. Amazing, um, but it's based out of queer gay culture in the uh, the 40s and 50s um, because of this whole thing about, you know, um, queer men being sissies. And so he did a bunch of artwork which was based around really masculine men with massive chongs, <laughs> okay? Um, but, yeah, that's, that's a topic for not TikTok. Um, <laughs> but ask me something controversial. Ask me something – like, give me an opinion – Ask me something and I'll, I'll give you mine. Hello to people who are joining. Yeah, I think I might do, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do gaming on the next one. You guys seem to like the gaming, so. <sighs> I put more lip gloss on. You can also ask me about my job. Well, that's the thing. Is yeah, it was originally seen as being very sissy, but I feel like queer culture itself, or like men who are with men. I don't know. Heteronormative um, social behavior is far more homoerotic, in my opinion. But anyway. Do I think Australia should be a republic? Oh, see, that's that's good. Um, define republic. Are you talking instead of us being a, um, what are we currently? Let's have a look. I'm just looking at what the, like, so I don't know. Ooh, here we go. Are you talking about like, mm, interesting. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I do think that we should potentially be stepping away from the Commonwealth. Um, because the Commonwealth won't like the socially, the monarchy will not be as influential and powerful as they have been previously. We're starting to see a, a massive shift in terms of power in the world, in my opinion, you know, even things with things being exposed, like Diddy and all of this, we're starting to see areas where things have been exploited previously. Um, I don't necessarily think we should be a republic. I'm not too sure. So Australia can go – it will really depend on how the US um, voting goes. Um, I think we should kiss the king at all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to kiss that old man. No way. I think stepping away, like – yeah, like uh, – 